Look, it's a bird. It's a plane. No, Dad. That's a big ass. Oh my God. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, today we're here to talk about a lot of big dudes, but the height doesn't make sense in Baki. I looked up some of the heights. Yujiro Hama 6'3? What? This motherfucker look like he's about 18 feet tall. That doesn't make any sense. But we're here to talk about the Reite tournament saga, arc, whatever you want to call it. I did the video for the Maxim tournament about Yujiro, Jack, and Baki with the homie CJ the champ. And y'all was in the comments like, Sin, you gotta run it back for the Reite tournament. So we here. And y'all know I don't like to do a lot of theatrics but wait 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 before we get into the video i do need y'all to do me one favor now you know i don't really like plugging a lot of stuff i don't like doing that and i don't want y'all to not come back to the video when you go to do this but i have a channel called synfinite that's s-y-n finite you feel me on there i'm doing commentary just like i do with these series but about just regular real life stuff and i've been spending a lot of money getting animations done for the videos these videos are mad fire i need y'all to please after you're done watching this video go over there subscribe you feel me make sure you hit the subscribe turn those notifications on and go watch the three videos that i have over there because they're bangers i'm not gonna lie but let's get it so off rip the story starts we got yujiro versus muhammad ali jr bro and i am not going to lie to y'all bro this man ali jr is the biggest fraud in baki this is a bit <sighs> And I know y'all are probably wondering, Sin, why is he a bitch? Why are you hating on our black brethren? I don't want to do it, but the stuff that he did in this motherfucking season was some hoe ass shit. And we're going to get to that. Now, when Ali Jr. and Ujiro started fighting, this man Ujiro utilized a technique that I have never seen someone do against a boxer before because usually they're standing up boxing. Oh, no. hey, anyways, this man Ujiro laid down on his back. First off, pause. Why are you laying down for another man? But <laughs> zesty counter. I ain't going to lie. But anyways, this man Ali Jr. couldn't figure out at the time how to defeat this whole laying down technique. So he said, well, if you're going to lay down for me, I already won the fight. And he leaves that is not what you want to do against this man Yujiro Hanma bro because he was mad as hell this nigga started gritting his teeth looking at that door bro breaks the door down looking in the hallway and there it was an uh, innocent bystander standing there he's just a hotel employee but that was in the hallway looking like he seen a goddamn ghost he was scared as hell and bro i do not blame him if i walked in the hallway and seen a nigga the size of godzilla i would feel the same way bro walked out there looking like super saiyan 4 gogeta and he himself moving on ali jr wants to get into the ray Tay tournament this is where baki retsu and all of them are at my man baki out here looking like i was about to say something real messed up but i can't let's just say that my nigga baki looks like he needs some sort of iv and fluids <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say so Ali Jr. has to fight somebody to get in a tournament and they put this nigga against Krillin but obese. Why do y'all have Krillin in here with a beer belly? This nigga big as shit. So he starts to fight in him and the big ass nigga lays down. And I'm not going to lie, bro. I thought that it was over for Ali Jr. because of the Ujiro situation. But then I realized, man, that nigga didn't leave because he was laying down. He left because it's Ujiro. This man got on his knees and started rocking this fat mother down on the ground. Bookie, Mickey. Biggie, biggie, Mickey. Fat ass dude stood straight up, bro. He didn't know what to do. I at least stand up talking crazy to him. Like, yeah, bitch ass fat nigga. Yeah, you better off standing up. And started punishing this nigga. Had him shook on the wall. Needless to say, Ali Jr. got to join the Ray Tate tournament just like that. And they started introducing all the fighters. Man, everybody here. My man Retsu here. You got Baki, sick version. Ujiro, Ali Jr., Biscuit Oliver, Dorian. You got all these other Chinese characters users that are sea emperors but they garbage who cares about them you got the poison hand guy his brother you got the car that just passed outside i swear to god i'm about to go blow that up c4 anyways after the theatrics to introducing everybody they made yujiro break some tiles that was trash and then we got the first fight it was yujiro versus retsu's master the old ass buff bald guy bro looking like jimpachi from tekken 5 so they get the fight in and i did not expect this at all this man yujiro used his hand as a meat cleaver he stuck his hand in this nigga's face and i'm like what is he doing right now why is his hand in his cheekbone like that and then this nigga ripped that dude's whole face off he defaced him bro i had to rewind the clip about two or three times i said is that his face and then he threw it into the crowd of the chinese bystander they're like oh my god the ugliest shit i'm just saying but this, this nigga face is in the crowd girl bye you're ugly as fuck 
You look like my foot. So Retsu jumps in because he's fucking pissed, bro. But the old nigga without a face got mad. He was like, how dare you get in my fight, bitch ass you buff ass 17 ab ass nigga back up this is my fight and i ain't gonna lie bro he got punished bro yujiro punished this nigga and then threw a towel on his face i couldn't even believe this shit, bro so in the hallway while this is going on the first bitch ass move of our side arc ali jr's quest for love has started this nigga is in the hallway trying to mack on baki's girl nigga you just got to japan and out of everybody you knew here you decided to try to talk to baki's woman there's so many bad johns in japan bro what type of weird shit is you on bro in the hallway dead ass trying to talk to this this girl ain't got no bitches bro i swear to god anyways moving on we got ali versus this gray hair nigga bro he's an npc ass dude it don't matter as soon as the fight start bro this man ali punched this nigga in his nuts while this fight is happening we got baki in the background he in the hallway throwing up blood and shit. somebody help him he's about to die like kenny from south park oh my god you killed baki you bastards bro that's basically what's about to happen while dude was in the ring getting folded by a nut punch baki's girl out there mad as hell at retsu she throwing punches at him it's like you bitch, bitch, bitch. i can't believe you you're always you aren't doing enough and you're always saying bah, bah, i'm a girl <laughs> this bitch started bitching about her. she annoying anyways baki got a fight next and he ends up having to fight the poison his brother y'all remember the poison from the prison arc the one that made him sick in the first place well his brother's here and it looks like he has a poison hand technique of his own so as soon as the fight start this nigga goes to kick him and he punches baki's foot and i see this motherfucker foot swell up with the meanness bro like what is this big fucking nasty thing on your foot bro had a purple light bulb on his foot bro then he did the craziest shit like straight off of some only fans foot fetish bro this put his whole foot in his mouth started sucking the poison out you what you're gonna do is be a woman of your word suck his dick that's like you said you were gonna do i ain't gonna lie put this sd counter up that was pause so while this is happening yujiro big freaky ass show up he menacingly in the background smirking he be getting off to his son fighting bro or having sex with his girl i don't know what's up with him but he is getting punished at this point i mean baki is getting rocked he rapid punching him da -da 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 -da, on some jojo sh oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> Bro is throwing up crazy blood at this point. His bitch run out to the goddamn arena, yo. She crying over him and shit. This was nasty, though. I ain't gonna lie, yo. This sick ass bitch started licking her tears up. I said, oh, nah, this freaky ass nigga into some weird shit. But apparently the poison gets negated. Now, I don't know if it was his girl's tears, him swallowing the tears, his will to fight, or this motherfucking poison from the poison hand negating the other poison. I'm gonna go with the poisons negating each other, but I mean, it is what it is. I done seen crazier shit than Baki. So Baki is ready at this point. The poison is gone, bro. And he is dodging everything. I am not gonna lie, bro. Nigga broke dude's hand and then uppercutted him crazy. Nikki, Mickey! Bro was about to hit him with the left hook, bro, but then stopped, yo. I ain't gonna lie. He was about to fing finish this dude, bro. Like, he was about to punish this. Shit. Moving on, though, Baki is eating crazy at this point, bro. And we get this fake ass science lesson about his cool body and how it's miraculously healing itself. So. Nobody cares, narrator. Shut the hell up. Anyways, after this, yo, we got this old ass nigga, Kaku. He out here looking like the goddamn Geico lizard and reptile from fucking Mortal Kombat, bro. He got scaly ass skin. Bro, skin looking like the Sahara Desert cracked ass skin, the Grand Canyon bottom skin ass nigga. Bro, this dude is dry as shit. If somebody don't kick this shit, some Jergens, put some Luberderm on him or something. But he was arguing with Yujiro calling this nigga weak. I am not going to lie, bro. And after he called him weak like that to his face, I said, oh, this nigga must be the truth. So he go out to fight, bro. He fights a guy and finishes him with a pluck he plucks this nigga in his balls bro it was so embarrassing that when the dude was mad in the back this man yujiro found him and told him to stop bitching. and if that he was a japanese person he would commit seppuku right there and then kill this nigga. anyways moving on past this yo we got our first fight with biscuit oliver bro this big buff ass nigga, this roast beef body ass nigga, this 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 hefty 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 looking ass nigga. this this is campbell's mother beef stew built that a uh, pork roast looking at like this nigga big as shit. but he fought a guy and folded him up into 
fucking mush, bro. We hit him with one attack, and the dude was like turned in on himself. Bro, inverted his whole body. Then he gonna rip his shirt off to finish the fight. Like, bro, this one, man. Bro, are we trying to show off, bro. But anyways, so we got a bald nigga versus an NPC after this, bro. The uh, the bald nigga with the beard. I ain't gonna lie, yo. He punished that nigga, bro. That fight was trash. So Yujiro and Baki in the hallway, though. This part was crazy, bro. Baki is talking heavy, like he's like fight me. And I'm like, Baki, did you slip and bust your motherfucking head after you got done eating? He apparently got super cocky and told Yujiro he was scared of him, and Yujiro was not playing with this nigga. He grabbed him by his throat on some little boy shit and then mushed him through a wall, bro. This man Baki ended up relieved that Yujiro left. He was like, am I relieved? He was mad as hell, bro. Like at that moment, he realized he was a bitch. So after all this happened, we got sweaty ass Retsu in the hall training for his fight. And he ends up fighting a guy with rings that wants to have a grip test, bro. And he tells him that, man, your grip isn't even at the level of Hanayama, so you're a bitch ass nigga. He ends up squeezing his hand and then karate chops him in his f***ing back, bro. Punished him with one swift move. I couldn't even believe this. How you lose to a goddamn blue belt move? Like, this nigga got karate chopped. <laughs> After Retsu's decisive victory, everybody's in the back. Kaku, him, all these other niggas. And they realize that all the fights, except for one, were won by Japanese people or Americans. And that the Chinese sea emperors are looking bad. Retsu telling the old dude, like, yo, I ain't gonna lie, these niggas is weak as shit. So they decide to ally and go against the five remaining Japanese slash American people. Kaku brings in his son and his son's friend, who apparently they're super strong or whatever, but who cares? And Yujiro is just laughing at these niggas as they're explaining everything retsu's telling them look it's gonna be five versus five yujiro was like it could be one versus five i will punish y'all bro he was talking crazy but they promised to get a flawless victory against the japanese slash americans like they were gonna win five fights to none and i was like yeah all right nigga. but we got unchained versus unchained this was crazy bro how you gonna steal my man biscuit name this man yujiro talking about who's the real one biscuit so he got his pocket in his hands, yo. He doing the pocket hand style. So Biscuit go to attack him. He blocks it with one arm, bro. And then cut this nigga's torso and put his hands back in his pockets. Oh, this nigga cold as hell, bro. Remind me of that wrestler that be fighting like that. So bro ran up, bro. Hit this nigga Biscuit foot with his toes. Hmm, uppercutted him. Mickey! Rock this guy. I am not gonna lie, bro. Bro is rocking this nigga and then returning his hands to his pockets. Just like I'm about to return this grenade to this car that keep passing. Carcoon pissing me off today. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, this nigga Biscuit Oliver is a freaky ass nigga. Cause why do you have a G-string on? This nigga is dressed like a Victoria's Secret model. I'm tired of this nigga. Whole ass cheek swallowing the goddamn G-string. But nigga put his hands in his G-strings, bro. And his goddamn underwear size. So bro was mad as hell and takes his hand out and pimp slaps Biscuit. Mickey! Bro, I ain't gonna lie. The way that he slapped this nigga, bro, I, I, I got PTSD at this time when I was a prostitute. <sighs> Zesty counter, yo. That was crazy. Why'd I say that? Anyways, bro was talking heavy to him. So he ends up getting attacked, then counter attacks and throat chops this nigga, bro. This nigga biscuit flips, lands on his feet, and did the pocket stance again. So bro get mad and start attacking him, bro. But then he got cracked by Oliver. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, first off, yo, I, I learned that this nigga name is Ron by this point. So I started writing Ron in my notes because that's a funny ass name. So Ron ran up. Hey, Chopped him to the throat. Kicks him in the balls, bro. He was like, huh? Neck, body. He started really attacking this nigga biscuit crazy. And his goddamn head got grabbed. And he caught the meanest head but of 2000 and whatever the hell year this was, bro. This nigga hit this nigga in the head like he was a rhino. At this point, he was trying to fight back, but he kept breaking his hands on Biscuit's body, bro. Caught another head butt. Man. He started attacking with the broken hands, bro. And then caught another head butt. Man. I was like, God damn, bro. Caught three head butts and talked heavy to this nigga. Told him, if I tighten my muscles up, your weak ass hands can't do shit. How y'all gonna say y'all gonna win five straight matches and y'all already lost round one? That shit don't even make no goddamn sense, bro. The old head in the back, Kaku, mad as shit. Said, you promised a flawless victory, but we started with a loss. So his son promises him that he's going to do one kill per fight. That the rest of the four fights, they're going to kill their opponents. And then this nigga Baki ended this nigga with one combo. Bro ran up to Baki and said, weave. Mickey, Mickey, drop this nigga, bro. Soka. 2-0 already. His son is a goddamn weak ass nigga. The old dude told his son, are you even related to me now? Do we even share the same blood? He was like, give up on martial arts, bro. You're a trash shit, bro. And your mom's pussy was trash too, bro. I'm mad that you're even here. He was talking crazy. Anyways, next up, we got Retsu versus Mr. Clean, bro. This bald ass nigga 
with a beard, bro. He's trying to finesse Retsu this whole goddamn fight. Bro grabbed his hand twice, bro. Both times he put his hand down, he tried to do a little sneak attack on Retsu and it didn't work. The second time he used his back and his core muscles to stop this and then throw him to the ground. What type of weird, flexible, strong is Retsu on, bro? Are you a gymnast? out here he mean to go for the gold and the goddamn tightrope walk after getting finessed twice this nigga reached his hand out again bro and retsu grabbed it and started rocking him crazy dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it, dig it. eventually bro he slams retsu and it puts him in an arm bar and it dislocates his arm gets up and says fight me how you gonna put it in an arm bar dislocate the arm and then just release the submission like nothing happened and say get up <laughs> So now this nigga is trying to fight him with one arm, bro. This was even rushing the stage trying to stop the fight, bro. But Wrestle was like, no. He said, I can't use my right arm. Perfect handicap. I said, oh, yeah, this nigga about to get in his bag, bro. This ball headed nigga started apologizing bro grabbed him with his toes and shit this nigga that's who grabbed and gripped him with his toes flipped him over started punishing him with his feet then he grabbed his leg and he squeezed this retsu leg retsu fall but he catch himself use his toes again and then grab and rip off this nigga's beard bro do you know how strong your toes have to be to rip his beard off what type of weird foot shit was Retsu practicing back at that goddamn monastery? That don't even make any damn sense. So then he ends up undislocating this nigga Retsu arm. They get to fighting again, bro. And he is punishing him like badly, bro. Nigga had 40 arms. Looked like he was using Ashura, bro, from fucking One Piece. This nigga was dogging this. Bro, he was really rocking this nigga crazy. He went to uppercut this nigga, got blocked, then punched his face, elbowed this nigga in the back, bro. So, bro got on the ground and started turtling up. That was his strategy. Oh, I'ma just like turtle up. He kept doing it to block. But this nigga Retsu broke even that down, bro. Hit this nigga with the meanest attack in his back to finish the fight. It was insane. Ah, damn. Yo, Ali Jr. punished the next nigga, the poison nigga, bro. He weaved that nigga and then used two punches. Yo, hit this nigga in the chin and slept him, bro. That, that was crazy. Anyways, moving on, though, this next part was crazy because Yujiro was in a goddamn arena, bro. And you know, normally I would tell you what he said, but I got to give y'all the hood translation, bro. He said, <clears throat> yo, gang, gang, gang. Hey, man, it's your boy Yujiro Hama coming straight out the goddamn 63rd of Japan. You know what the fuck it is. Hey, fuck China first, dog. Y'all it's a bitch. But, uh, hey, yo, this nigga Kaku, y'all master said that he was going to get a flawless victory. Well, we already proved that that was a lie. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Lame ass nigga, reptile skin ass nigga. Hey, yo, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know what's beating him more, yo, his old age or his dry ass skin, bro. This nigga chafe everywhere. I know his shit be hurting, bro. This nigga can't even get in the shower anymore, dry ass skin. But, anyways, that's not the point. My point is, yo, if this nigga can beat me, bro, all them mother victories won't mean shit. I'm gonna let them niggas get that. If he can beat me, but I want smoke. Tell his handicap ass to come out here. So this Kaku at this point, he come out, bro. And we got the ultimate violence versus ultimate martial arts, bro. Bro, throw his chair at him. Mickey! Then he ended up using this technique called Shaori, which is basically like making your body real loose instead of tense to get rid of the impact. He also uses it in an offensive way, but we're not there yet. So anyways, bro dropped his glasses on Yujiro's arm and then kicked off and kicked him. Bro, mad as shit, went to go rock him, but bro dislocated his own jaw with the Shaori to absorb the impact. So then bro kicked him, bro, and it only nipped him, though. It made his nose bleed. I was like, okay, what is going on, bro? I ain't gonna lie. After this, though, it was crazy because bro punched him in a CGI rollback that happened with the Kaku was disgusting. Bro was out here looking like this was some goddamn berserk 2016 level CGI, bro. This is disgusting. <laughs> But anyways, nigga Ujiro was getting talked crazy to by this old nigga, bro. He gets backed up to the wall because he don't understand how the Shaori work and he, he kind of nervous about it. This man Kaku says, you cowards make it hard to believe you're the world's strongest creature. I said, hold on. This man Baki out there like, what's going on? Why is my dad such a bitch right now? But Ujiro finally finds out that it's offensive Shaori, bro. But he started blocking it using his own Shaori. Nigga got hit in the face with a wheel. Miki! But he did a backflip, landed, and was like, you're in trouble, old man. So nigga started using shaori too he learned it that fast bro he just saw it bro but after he uses it he tells his old nigga, i'll never use this trash ass technique again nigga. get your goddamn moves up i was poking fun at you and how you did your move this is trash he said i got my own style and then he punches the ground bro this man kaku swallowed hard and shit bro he was scared yo pause he swallowed it i was crazy but nigga, this in his fighting style the whole time started rocking this nigga. 
it, bro. He started beating him so much that Baki started dick eating, bro. Was dick riding all you do? This man Baki in the background, like, this is Yujiro Hanma. This is him. He's Emmer. Nick punched, spun him into a kick. Mickey punched him into a wall. Blinky. Old dude fighting back, bro. And we got this whole demon back moment where he show his goddamn back, bro. This nigga is the apex predator. This man even had Kaku dick eating, calling him a lion and calling himself prey. How you call a nigga you fighting lion and you call yourself prey just because you get punished? Bro, this was getting punished that bad, bro. He was doing all he could, bro. But Yujiro just took that. Oh, man, it's not him. It's not enough. Bro, clap his ears. Mickey. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. Counter with cross to left cheek. Discombobulate. He was about to end it, yo. And hey, this was the craziest part of this fight, bro. This man, Yujiro, put the fear of God in it so much that he faked his own death he stopped his own heart so yujiro wouldn't kill him forever god damn bro yujiro was pissed but it's whatever man he ends up leaving and saying old man kicked the damn bucket so old dude kaku in the back explaining like oh nah this nigga wasn't human so i just had to you feel me it's a win for martial arts though he didn't beat me kaku and yujiro had this whole conversation after that where he basically gives them props and shit bro but i ain't gonna lie bro i thought that that was gonna be the end of this season and then we got into the goddamn ali jr quest for love side quest once again bro Ali jr is trying to steal baki's girl it's a whole art at this point says he wants to marry her i said oh yeah this is foul so i guess he was trying to prove to himself that he was on the level of baki or something so he starts to go fight all of these masters it was getting slammed crazy bro but he caught him off guard hit that chin mickey dropped him then we got ali jr versus dopo bro threw his hat and glasses at him rushed in got rocked blicky i ain't gonna lie ali jr was rocking this crazy bro so he started using the hand pocket style he even liver punched him bro but i ain't gonna lie after all of this he goes in to get his last punch off but it gets blocked dodged and then he gets counter punched dropped his ass bro then he made a mistake this nigga went to go see jack hanma like this isn't 7-eleven at this point was eating and said wait until i'm done he said oh did i rush you and jack was like nah i rushed myself because i think there's something better than food here and i was like oh shit. he's about to punish this nigga, bro i am not gonna hold you bro this nigga jack punished this nigga ali jr is not him bro jack got hit in the chin that didn't even work he ate that shit. called himself mushed his face in his tongue got sliced up his tongue was about to fall off he was getting his ass beat he was talking shit subconsciously on the ground fucking passed out done talking crazy bro so we ends up going to go see baki girl after five days he's beat the shit up has surgery on his tongue he's in there talking like mike tyson but his goddamn tongue is all fucked up hi i'm mike tyson watch me beat peter mcnilly and come cast cable video. and then this man goki spun the block on this nigga, bro this time he had a goddamn lineup bro this said oh that fight before that wasn't a real fight this is broke his fingers started punishing this nigga, slamming him here and there look like a goddamn cartoon he boing 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 he was slamming the shit out of this nigga bro then dopo spun the block bro talking crazy to dopo bro nigga blocked his initial punch with his forehead broke his hand the bone showing in this nigga hand bro i said oh there ain't no x-ray necessary for that that shit is broke then he just started breaking him down attacking every limb and joint that this nigga had bro started even attacking his hands so bro wrapped his hands up like on some gloves to fight bro and it didn't even matter nigga showed up and got and punished bro so bad that he had a cane the next time he seen baki girl it was embarrassing then after that i'm thinking all is done for ali jr he goes to sleep then his dad show up that was dad beating him up in the goddamn ballroom bro they in a party room he getting punished after all of this happened i guess ali felt like ali jr should have got the fight with baki bro so they set it up this training crazy for the baki fight so hard bro that this nigga all his injured body parts healed up i don't know how that happened but it did bro and then we got ali jr versus guy goddamn baki bro the most embarrassing fight in this season knocked him out with one hit then got in a rear naked choke and was about to kill him bro ali had to come in and punch baki to break it up this is soft they got in the back crying to this nigga baki girl and shit. this is a bitch don't even make any sense bro but after this happened yujiro decided that he was gonna fight baki so they're gonna set that up this man ali jr ain't black no more his black card is revoked yo this nigga is a soft ass bitch i can't even believe that this happened <sighs> God damn, this nigga sucks. I ain't gonna lie.